Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and uh, we're we'll be playing some more budget historic decks. So historic is the uh, legacy-like format, the eternal format on MTG Arena. It's all the cards that have been in Arena, plus some anthologies that they inject cards into. Uh, so this budget list, uh, and with, like my other budget list, they're intended for Arena budgets, and they usually have about 10 to 12 rares or mythics combined. This list has actually only 8, and it's only the mana base. This is a budget, is it aggro, is it spell slinger, so blue-red, and it's kind of built around Kiln Fiend, which is one of the anthology cards. It's a 2 mana 1-2, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, it gets plus 3-0 till end of turn. So basically what we're trying to do here is cast out like a Kiln Fiend or a Sprite Dragon, and then just chain together a bunch of Cantrip. So a Cantrip is a card like Opt or Crash Through that cycles itself, and basically for 1 mana it just replaces itself with another card. So our creature base, we have Terramander, Siren Storm Tamer to protect these two creatures, and then uh, just a bunch of spells. So Dive Down protects, Opt uh, draws cards, Crash Through gains Trample, which is really good with Kiln Fiend, draws a card. You have Warlord's Fury that gives First Strike and draws a card. Then you have um, Shock and Lightning Strike as Removal or Burn, and then a couple light up the stage. So the only rares are Steam Vents and Sulphur Falls in the deck. Uh, in terms of the sideboard, uh, for Red Cat Malise versus the uh, Winota matchup, you have some Aether Gusts uh, versus Red and Green. Ominous Seas, I'm thinking of in a heavier removal based matchup or sweepers, you can play this instead of some creatures, and then that allows you to create tokens uh, with it. Uh, two Blitz as more removal also hits Planeswalkers and some Mystical Disputes. Um, versus like the Teferi or Narset style decks. Actually, coming to look at it, most of the decks are aggro, so I'm gonna go Flame Sweep. This will help us first like field or some of the more aggressive decks. Generally speaking, this deck either wins or loses pretty quick. Um, played a couple games in testing and was able to like, we're gonna be playing ranked in Mythic, like turn four, turn five, win or lose. So we're at like 93% Mythic, we'll try it out. Uh, there's like a day left, I'm not too concerned with my rank. Um, so if you do enjoy this content, you want to see more historic decks, budget decks, do let me know in the comments. If you are catching this on YouTube, uh, if you can drop a sub there or on Twitch a follow, both are free and easy ways to support the channel. Uh, trying to get the 500 followers on Twitch, we're about 100 off, so the support would be greatly appreciated. Um, so generally speaking, you want to thread, especially against Yorian. And now we get no lands. You need something to do. You can't just spin your wheels. Okay, well, we're going to keep this hand. Put back Terramander. And a lightning strike. So I just want to see which Yorian build they are. Probably concede this game. Not the best start. Okay, the Jesper version. So I'm going to concede before they can see our hand. We know what they are. We're not going to win that game. So Esper tends to have a lot of removal. So we're going to want... Those in, we'll bring in the disputes as well. Um, in terms of what's coming out, probably the Terramanders, the light up the stage, and trim on the burn. Dive down's a little tricky, because the thing is with they have to ferry out, it's not very good. But otherwise it is. So it's kinda in like a weird spot. Um trim it down like that. Alright, let's try this out. Narset's a problem for the deck. You can't draw cards, you can't really chain together. So 
So this game is going to be Storm Tamer on one, Kiln Fiend on two, then play Crash Through and then just protect the Kiln Fiend. So the opponent probably brought in more removal, seeing only Mountain last game. Hoping they sided out some other stuff. Okay, so they have Search. Wish we had another island. So I'm going to protect here with the dive down. Yep, they bring down Conquer's Death. So this is more controlling than the version we played yesterday. We were playing more of a mid-rangey blink style deck. I'm also not going to opt this turn with only one blue mana up. I want to be able to protect Kiln Fiend. Okay, so with that being the case, I'm going to dive down here. So they can bounce the Storm Tamer, they just plus here. Um, see if we could just kill them. That's enough to take Tef off. So you kind of want to save your spells for when you can trigger it. Here if they have a board wipe, we'll just lightning strike their face. Um, just pass the turn here. So they can bounce. counter here um i think we cycle one of these try to find some action yikes just lands doesn't help hey meister carrot how's it going thanks for stopping by So not drawing many cantrips and then having ex like Teferi Teferi is kind of screwed up our math. We also don't have any protection spells at this point. Fine. I can uh, lightning strike this. I well, hope you have a good one. Stay safe out there. Did you play in the tournament at all today on Arena? Alright. Let's see what we can do here. And this is kind of the backup plan. Nah, I, I didn't have enough gold saved up and with the exchange rate, it's like 40 bucks to play in the tournament in Canada. So didn't feel like it was worth it. They have cast down. Uh, probably not in the next hour. I did a stream earlier today. Uh, so this is the second stream of the day. I gotta do some uh, housework 
This morning was a huge thunderstorm here, so I couldn't really do anything outside. So now it's cleared up so I can actually get to the backyard. I got like weeds, like waist high in the backyard along the side, so I gotta pull those out. Okay, oats pretty good. It also lets them, that's interesting. And they have timely. Yeah, things are going pretty well here. We've been like stuck in quarantine. Just uh, try to do what we can around the house. We're supposed to do a bunch of rhinos this year, but never got around to it. Ah, here. How tough bounce is this? Okay, so game one was kind of uh, a bulk. Yeah, if you, I, I think is I haven't played much best of one, and like, I don't enjoy the Abosh red deck that much, but that'd be the deck I'd play. If it was historic best of one, then I'd play Gruel, and then I'd probably play in it. So not the best hand. You usually want something that scales a bit better. Okay, so when you see Kahira, it's usually control. Okay, well that's a top deck. Hopefully they, we dodge one turn no to fairy. Yeah, the, I, pretty much from what I've seen other people play, it's like Winota matchups okay so they're gonna take the dive down here well this is the turn i deal some damage to the opponent see how much we could put on them Ooh, light up the stage is nice helps us find another threat we lose out on a bit of damage, but I think we need some uh, redundancy. Yeah, so they have the oath here. They also just incidentally have a blocker versus us. It's hoping to hit a land. Since we got, we got a lot of burn in hand, so I'm just gonna try to throw some at their face. Okay, it's actually pretty good. Of course they have to ferry. So I'm saving another one to shock the to ferry. We can adapt here as well. Them playing Kahira is actually better than them playing Yorian. Because Yorian can bounce this Othakai again. Wish that was Sprite Dragon. Could have hasted in for some damage. Okay, they have Narset. All right, have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. Elspeth conquers deaths, not doing much against our deck. Um, since you only cost one mana, let's deal the damage here. This was overwhelming. You can activate again with the trigger on the stack. Uh, 
I'm gonna hold this land, make it seem like we have something. Sprite Dragon? Nope, just another land. Been falling just like slightly short in a lot of these games. Even the part two on this, are you kidding me? We only played 20 lands. There's Kahira. Three mana opt. Just trying to find a threat here. Maybe I should have held off, but because they're going to get Teferi back here, Teferi can bounce this Othakaya and then kill this. That takes them up to 11. Man. Haven't played control decks at all. It's been all creature decks, so you build to play against creatures. And then you never run into them. Um, so I probably want density of threats here, so light up the stage could come out. Um, they're probably bringing in more targeted removal, so I think, and they have Kahira as well. So I'm going to trim a couple Kiln Fiends. Shave a Warlords. Shave a Dive Down. Probably shock. All right, just get rid of warlords. Do I even want blitz? No, probably not. Just want the cantrips, like um. They showed Narset, which is a rough one for us. Can keep this hand. Crash through on one, ominous on two. It's worse versus the fairy, but okay, we'll actually probably kill Fiend on. No, I'll probably get ominous going. They're more likely to have removal, and then that opens them up for something like this figure. Well, drawing nothing but lands isn't where we want to be. Very excited to get this figured here. So I do have a choice if, oh, they go face. That's very odd. I think they're playing around dive down there. Again, drawing nothing but lands in the deck with a bunch of cantrips has been especially annoying. Kidding me? Four, seven, ten. Big to fairy, big to fairy talks. No time for a break. Big to fairy draws. Just see what we draw in our upkeep. But the thing is, as soon as this gets going, they just tuck it. See if we can chain together enough draws. Nope. We tuck this now. Again, we're not 
dead on board, but we're effectively dead. Once you have an active Teferi going, they'll have enough to interact with us, and the fact they can bounce. They're drawing two cards a turn. Alright, let's run this one more time. See how it goes. I think I want to try Bant Mutate next. You have some good creatures uh, in the... Um, what's his name? The Indestructible for Pay 4 Life Dude. And Paradise Druid. And Protect. There's also stuff like Vine Mare. Go with like the blue green mutate shell and then build on that. Okay. Jengathas, sometimes humans, sometimes like field. It's kind of open in what it can be. Since we drew a second land, I'm going to hold up depending on what we want to do. We can shock them and then play something like Kiln Fiend. This might be Nexus. Just field. So we'll do this. They have to ferry. It's not Gyruda. So I was hoping for a land so we could have got Sprite Dragon going. just pass the turn here they just drop like fields okay so it's a field of the dead deck sylvan awaken kind of hot garbage is this I can tell you I was not expecting to lose like that. Flame sweeps in. Probably Aether Gust. Cut. Shocks. No, I'll probably keep the shocks. Get rid of light up the stage. Get rid of dive down. Just play like that. I was not expecting to lose that turn. It's quite the hand the opponent had there. Growth spiral into migratory into exactly animate and go from there. We can't even get a combination of lands and spells to work properly in this deck. We go first, we'll bin the island, play Siren. So Siren's not really what you want us have. It's more of a protection spell in the deck. You can play this also with drakes instead of kiln fiends. It's a little bit more, it's less all in. And we are just not drawing anything in these matches. And we're seeing a good chunk of cards.
want to see if we draw a threat here. Next turn, I can throw a shock at something. We do also have flame sweep that we can keep up at a certain point. If they try to do the Sylvan thing, I can blow up all their lands. Sky tether. Just in case I need the flame sweep as well. I can also just pop this blast zone. So I'm gonna try to catch them with Jengatha. They attack in. I have double shock in hand. I am open that they could potentially kill me this turn with that lion's play. Who plays Sky Tether? face here go there this makes it big enough and I think we just hold up this flame sweep going for like, do they kill us is the question I think we just passed the turn they're probably just popping this blast zone. Want to catch them if they try to go off. Do anything. Alright, this deck hasn't been that great. The idea is a little novel, but seems to just keep kind of fall on its face i don't know if it's just distribution of lands what we're getting but didn't really do what we wanted so i'm gonna wrap this one up if you do have any suggestions for other decks do let me know otherwise have a great one and stay safe out there